Mobility of factors of production are another component of the oil that makes the market system function very smoothly. And immobility occurs where responses to changes occur too slowly due to two main subcomponents, occupational immobility and geographical immobility. Now, occupational immobility occurs when certain factors of production are not as productively used in certain sectors as compared if they were used in other sectors. Now, this can ha happen because of, for example, skill mismatch, and this can cause a wasted of resources. For example, let's say someone was born to be a lawyer, right? He, his mind, his, his uh, vocal abilities all fit uh, that of a lawyer, and he's most productive there, right? The market needs him there. But instead, he's a taller cleaner. And the reason why is because there, there is this barrier in between him becoming a toilet cleaner and becoming a lawyer. For example, training costs and, and, and exposure, or exposure to opportunity to become a lawyer, for example. And this is what you call occupational immobility. Uh, this can cause a wastage of resources because the market needs this person as a lawyer, but rather he's being wasted as a toilet cleaner. An example of an occupationally mobile resource is the iPhone. Or you can take any other technological device, for example, a computer as well. Because, for example, the iPhone can be used in various industries. It can be used to track data, right? You get the news, you get your stocks, all from your, from your mini computer right here. You can video conference. You can do pretty much anything in any industry. And this factor of production it basically can be used from, uh, in any place, right? As compared to being uh, selectively used for only one sector in the market. And that's what you want. That's what you want. Uh, eventually to occur for a factor of production to be able to move from one point to an, uh, one sector to another uh, without too much cost. And that's what you call occupationally mobile. Geographical immobility uh, occurs when factors encounter barriers when they are moved from one area to another because of movement costs or commitments that, that, they, that the factors have to uh, encounter. For example, a person may not want to move from America to Singapore because he's too attached to his girlfriend back in America, for example, and he's discouraged uh, to move from a point to another point, right? And this can occur, uh, this can cause productive, allocative inefficiency, again, because he's more productively used in this place rather than in, 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 in back in America. And hence, the full cost of moving the factor of production has to be taken in. And this can increase uh, the cost of, of getting that uh, factor quite substantially. And this is where you look at uh, stuff like shipping costs, uh, movement costs for, 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 for large bulk factors of production. And this actually is how geographical immobility plays a huge factor in the market as well. So these are, are conditions you need to take into note when you are looking at, at whether a certain factor of production is best used in this market and whether it's, it's really realistic to make such a proposal uh, if you're making proposals in your in your arguments.